can't find a way, I'll make one!
I won't back down! You lose your last nail working in the fields. And it just dawns on you. Enough is enough. Not again, Mom. I don't care if I lose a few years because of the corrosion. It's okay. For the first time in my life, I can stop and contemplate things. Contemplate what? What I've done with my life. You're probably still angry that I sent you to the convent, but... I'm not angry. But I'm glad I did it. I saw a chance for my daughter to become more than a farm girl. And I took it. And here you are. Eight years later. 
a real sanctorium priestess. I've done something worthwhile. Something that will make the gods happy. So, I can die with no regrets. Are you finished? Yes, that's what I'm saying, darling. I'm finished. Listen, I'm sorry to rain on your funeral parade, Mom, but you're not going to die. Oh, I bloody well know that I am, Celine, and you need to make peace with it. I won't make peace with it, and that's the reason I came all the way here. To tell you that we found something. There's a cure for the corrosion, and we will find it. We? And what do you mean by we? Don't you dare bring Darian into your scheme, Celine. He's capable of deserting over something like this, and you know it. Well, it's too late now. Too late? I already sent the letter. You did what? Did you even think this through? Do you know what the consort does to desert us? Believe me, Mother. I've put a lot of thought into this. I know what I'm doing. You always think you know better than anyone else. Because I do. By the gods. Is this about the voices? It's not about the voices. Is it about the voices? You swore to me that you weren't hearing them anymore. It's not about either of us, Mom. It's about Darian. He needs to know. I kept it a secret for a good reason, Celine. If he deserts because of you, because of this, his death is on your conscience. <sighs> He's not going to die. And neither are you. Trust me, you sacrificed everything for us. Broke your back, fell sick, the gods know how many times. Now it's time for us to repay the favor. There's no way we're letting that thing eat you alive. You might be ready to give up, but we're not. I'm not. You don't understand anything. I didn't save you from the gutter so that you could throw your life away on a fool's errand trying to save me. I know how it works at the Sanctorium. Every second you waste here, you slip out of someone's good graces there. I won't let you waste everything because you're scared of losing me. My choice is already made. Go ahead. Waste your precious time running around the country looking for an inexistent remedy, Celine. Even if you find it, I won't take it. I'll force it down your throat if I have to. That's not how it works, Buttercup. We're not living in a fairy tale. There's no cure for this. Not if I have anything to say about it. When the pain is too much to bear, I'll throw myself on the rocks down there. And everything will be right again. And who might you be, sir? You look quite angry, priestess. <sighs> if it's food you need, I can arrange something. But if you're here to cause trouble, consider yourself warned. <laughs> what are you laughing about? Looks like Mom's giving you a hard time. What do you mean? Wait... Darian... Is... is that... you? Sorry I'm late. I've been busy, you know, trying not to die. You came back. You're alive! Eight years, Darian. 
When you wrote that you had enlisted, I thought we'd never see each other again. Wait, 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 wait! No hugs! It was hell back there, and I might have caught the corrosion. It's better if you don't come too close. Corrosion, you say? Hmm... Show me your left eye. Did you eat any corroded flesh, or drink corroded blood? Of course not! Fingers. Hmm... Don't worry. You're okay. But... how... You can't catch the corrosion from Arcolite technology. How can you be so sure? Because I didn't. What the... I managed to sneak a few of these. I've been wearing them for months now. It's a mystery how this sickness propagates. But Arcolite technology isn't a vector. We have to look elsewhere for an answer. And I just happen to know where. Look elsewhere? Okay. Well, uh, before that, how is Mom? Where is she? Back there. Okay. Gods help me. Gods can't help you now. Oh, yeah. Hey, Mom. Terry! You... You... Oaf! Did you desert to come here? Don't tell me you've been stupid enough to desert just to see me. That's the second time you've thrown your life away. Do you know what the Consort does to deserters? Mom. Come closer, so I can slap you. No, Mom, I don't want to catch the corrosion. Nonsense. I'll slap you with my healthy hand. Always been her favorite. I should have prevented you from joining the army. I should have locked you in the basement until the war was over. Uh-huh. Don't ha-ha uh -huh me, you half-wit. Boy, was she glad to see me. She sure was. So, there's a cure for the corrosion? Sounds too good to be true. It might be too soon to rejoice, but I have a very serious lead from a very trustworthy source. Trustworthy? How? Pretty much foolproof. I'll just have to trust you on that. We leave at sunrise tomorrow. To Harelsor. Okay then. You know this will be dangerous, right? We'll be crossing half the continent and risking our pretty little necks at every turn. Celine, I deserted and came here because I want to help you. If you're risking your life to find a cure for the corrosion, I want to be there with you. No matter how risky or dangerous it is. All right. Hmm. About your desertion, we need a cover story. From now on, you're a mercenary I hired with my own money. You're completely devoted to me, ever since I saved you from a pack of monsters. Wait, devoted to you? Yeah. The best part is, the story's all true. You do remember that I saved your life, right? Oh, no, 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 not that old story again. Yes, that old story again. When will you let it go? Mm, probably? Never. Before we go, I need to prepare enough medicine for Mom to ease her pain while we're gone. Can you help me gather a few still poppies? Of course. Here. These will do. So, uh, eight years at the Sanctorium. Versus four years in the army? It feels like you haven't changed at all. 
Oh, but I did. The mind-numbing tedium of sanctorium politics have turned me into a jaded, calculating witch. Um, weren't you that already? You jerk. What about you? How was your time in the army? Have you ever heard of a ritual called the Ascendance? Can't say that I have. What is it? It's, uh, I don't know. Just rumors. Story. Rumors, huh? I admit, I've heard a lot of horrible stories about the front. Well, they're probably all true. Huh. So, you don't want to talk about it? No. Did you get what you need? Yes. Then let's head home. You look tired. I'll cook you something. Oh, no, no, no. Thank you. There's no way I'm letting you near the stove. Hey, I've learned a lot of things in eight years. Oh, do these things include cooking? They don't. But they include formulas to summon meteors over the heads of heathens who disrespect the gown. Well, I hope you can postpone my own personal apocalypse until after you've tasted the carrot stew recipe I've been perfecting for years. <gasps> carrot stew? So good, it's gonna make you cry. I'm not sure crying's the sign of a good soup, Darian. But okay, your reckoning can wait until after dinner. Much obliged. What's that dream about? Ugh. Did you sleep well? So-so. Uh, Mom wants to see us off. Okay. Mom, we've got to go now. No need for last words. Nobody ever knows what to say anyway. Be safe. You two have a dangerous tendency to go overboard. And always for the wrong reasons, watch over each other. And Celine, keep Darian out of the Sanctorium's petty power struggles. He's not cut out for that. I'll be okay, Mom. I'm not a kid anymore. Says the guy who risked his life to kiss his mom goodbye. Go away now before I tear up. Are you ready? Yes. Let's go and save our mother. And the world. While we're at it. Thank you. 
The snowstorm is getting worse. We have to find shelter. This way. Through the abandoned mines. The mines? Oh, I bet you're enjoying this. Hey, you're the one who said we have to find shelter. Yeah, but not, not in there. Got another idea? Yeah, dying in the snow. Ha ha! What? I said...